Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Moments Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to manage your podcast in iTunes 8. So iTunes 8 added the ability to manage each podcast individually, having different settings for when new episodes are downloaded and how they're kept. So here we are in iTunes 8 and I've selected podcasts on the left so these are the podcasts that I subscribe to. The blue dot means there's an episode of that podcast that I haven't listened to yet. If I click on the little triangle here I can expand and see the episodes. So I can see here in black the episodes I've downloaded and in gray the ones I haven't. For the ones I haven't I can click on the get button to actually get that episode. Now if I want to control how I download episodes of a podcast, I select the podcast and click on the settings button. Now the only way to get to this is clicking on the settings button. Control clicking or right clicking won't bring up this menu. So I click on settings and I get a podcast settings dialog. Now it's settings for and you can see Mac Most Video Podcast. I can actually change that to look at the settings for any of the other podcasts I listen to or click on podcast defaults to see the default settings. So for MacMost Video Podcast is now set to default settings. I can uncheck that and I can go ahead and say when to download new episodes. Download the most recent one, download all of them, or do nothing and let me manually click the get button to get episodes. I can also say how many episodes to keep. The defaults last three episodes so it will delete episodes older than that. I can also select when to check for new episodes. So check every day, every week, every hour, or manually. And you can set this for every podcast individually and also set the default settings that will be for any podcast that you're not managing manually like that. Now one of the things that you may do is you may go through some of these old episodes here and decide you don't want them listed anymore. So you can go ahead and select them, press delete and remove them from your library. And this cleans up the listing and only shows the most recent episodes or whichever ones you want. Now if you've done this and you want to actually see the old episodes again and get the chance to download them, all you need to do is hold down the option key when you open up the triangle here and it will actually go out to the feed and get all the episodes again. Now there are several different ways to look at podcasts in iTunes. You've got the list view like this but you can also do the new grid view which is new in iTunes 8. And you can go through all the different podcasts you download that way. You can do it by category and you can just look at new as well. You can even adjust the icon size if you like. In addition you've got of course the cover flow view like this. And below that it will actually list some information about the podcast in the same view as the list view. Some other options you have is to see a browser at the top. Command B will bring this up and then you can look at your podcast by artist and album just like you would look at music. Usually it doesn't apply but sometimes it can be useful. Another thing you can do is you can look at the artwork by clicking Command G and you will see the artwork for the different podcasts on the left. If you want to customize the list view you can click on Command J and come up with view options. So you can remove or add new things to display in the columns. For instance if you want to click on size you can go ahead and do that and you'll get a new column to the right here that shows the size of each of these podcasts. You can also go ahead and adjust your columns like that and move things around. Now when you select a podcast you can go ahead and click the little arrow to the right to be taken to the iTunes store directly to that listing. And there you can go ahead and click on a link to the website. You can read reviews and you can leave your own review as well. You can also create your own playlist with podcasts. Just go down here to the plus sign at the bottom and go ahead and add a new playlist. And then you can go back to podcast and drag and drop episodes into that playlist. and then those episodes appear there. And these will sync with your iPod and iPhone. One of the ways I like to manage my podcast is by creating a smart playlist. You do that by going to File, New Smart Playlist and you get this dialog. Then I can go ahead and say I want to create a smart playlist that contains only podcasts. And I want it to limit to 25 items selected by the most recently added. So it will be the 25 most recently added podcast episodes. And then I select Live Updating so it will constantly be updated as new podcasts are downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and name this. And 
and I've got my playlist right here of all my most recent podcasts in the order that they were downloaded. Now I can go ahead and sync this with my iPod and iPhone and I've got a really convenient way to listen to the new podcast while driving in the car without having to go and look through each podcast artist and find out which episode is new. So the advantage of subscribing to podcasts and iTunes is you get your content automatically downloaded to your machine. You don't have to remember to go to the website and see if there's a new episode. And it'll automatically sync with your iPod and iPhone. Now, if you don't want to keep that much stuff on your hard drive, it's also great because it'll automatically delete older episodes, only keeping the most recent one. And it's easy to go back and find older episodes and re-download it if you want. So you're probably already subscribing to this podcast, but if you have friends that use Macs and iPods and iPhones, you might want to tell them about iTunes and how to subscribe to podcasts. And be sure to mention that this one is a good one to start. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.